Welcome to one of the best and cheapest valleys to visit in Switzerland. This is the Val Boschiavo. The valley charms with beautiful villages, present nature and breathtaking views. The Val Boschiavo is not what I expected, but you can be sure it's better to rather travel here sooner than later. I present you what I believe will be a new Swiss hotspot in the future. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm again traveling with Johannes. We are here in the Val Boschiavo. We're going to explore this wonderful region. There's really a lot to see, so let's go and see everything together. Boschiavo and the rest of the valley are Italian-speaking in otherwise majority Swiss-German-speaking Graubünden. This becomes already quite apparent when you take a look at the many houses or even street names. Very characteristic for Italian-speaking villages in Switzerland are the plaster stones that give this place a unique charm. Boschiavo is full of alleys and beautiful houses, thus make sure to not only explore the center with the piazza. The village of Boschiavo has a very interesting history as an Italian-speaking town, with its formerly rich and influential families and even regarding the local religions. Besides the many beautiful houses and alleys, you should consider a quick visit to the churches, especially the Catholic one that has a really beautiful interior. Now I just have shown you the Catholic church here. What is interesting about the Val Boschiavo is the fact that it's majority Roman Catholic, but then the canton of Graubünden is mostly Protestant. And during the Reformation, there was a lot of bias against Protestants, especially in today's Italy, like in Lombardy. A lot of people were fleeing because they were not tolerated, but then the Val Boschiavo was very accommodating. And this also shows here, because you have Protestant church, yeah, Valpuskelva is a good example of religious tolerance. Other than being a sanctuary for religious tolerance, Boschiavo had some economical significance, interestingly even with a global impact. You can learn more about this in the museum at the Palazzo de Bossus and the Via dei Palazzi. This road here is called Via Palazzi. You can see there are a lot of beautiful houses, fancy villas. And this is very interesting because back in the 19th century, poverty here in the Val Poschiavo was very common and a lot of people, they considered moving abroad to try their luck over there. So they went to countries like Russia, Spain, Portugal, even to Australia. And often they were working there as confectioners and some of them, they have become really respected for their arts and they became very rich. And then after 10 to 20 years, many of them, they returned again back to the Val Boschiavo, having become very rich, and then they considered building these houses to showcase their wealth. Then, Boschiavo is a town of museums. There are three very interesting ones that you should definitely visit. Let's start with the most important one, the Palazzo de Bassus. We are now inside the Palazzo de Bassus, so it's a really interesting museum about a family clan that was very powerful not only in politics but also in religion, Roman Catholicism. So these here they were members of this very rich and powerful family. This here, that's the Baron. Yeah, and then what's also really nice, just before I was talking about the quarter with all these palaces of the people who emigrated to set up bakeries as confectors. Now, these are some of the many Café Swiss which were opened in Spain or in Portugal, for example. They got really rich with these businesses. Now let's take a look of how the Basus dynasty was living. You can see very rich interior, really beautiful. Now let's check out the kitchen. You can see this is typical 19th century, but that's the version of how rich people were cooking. 
So as you can see, really interesting museum. So when you come to Poschiavo, make sure you make your way here. It's going to be very interesting. And then here, this is really special. They have a replica of a classroom, how it used to be back in the old days, with this Europe map. You can see there were considerably less countries. And then here, Blackboard. That's the seat of the teacher. And here, the benches where the kids were sitting. Yeah, really interesting. And you can see in the old days, things were really different. Then there's also the Casa Console, a museum full of wonderful paintings. And here I got to discover an old picture of how Hospital used to look like. And that's how it looks today. The similarity is still there, but certainly it lost its raw appearance. My favorite museum was the Casa Dome, a house of four sisters that used to live in the traditional way until 1990. The interior is still very well preserved and gives you a deeper insight of how life used to be back in the past. There are two major lakes to be visited around here, the Lago di Sauceo, to which you would need to hike up for roughly two hours, or the Lago di Poschiavo that can be easily reached by car. This humble lake is nicely blending into the valley and the UNESCO World Heritage train line, the Rätien Railway, or in German we call it Rätische Bahn. This is certainly one of the most scenic train rides in all of Switzerland, and one more reason why you should spend your holidays in the Val Poschiavo before it's becoming a touristy hotspot. At the lake, you certainly can relax and feel the calm of the Swiss Alps. Definitely, it's good to spend here roughly one hour. Just further down is the village of Brusio, which is the home to one of the most unique train sections in the entire world, the circular viaduct. Certainly, this wonderful train line is one of the big highlights of Switzerland. Also, do try the local specialties in the Val Poschiavo. This valley is Switzerland-wide known for its outstanding needs of wildlife animals. Boschiavo's specialties are 100% local made and they also stand for sustainability. Boschiavo is also quite nice to be explored during dusk and night. It's certainly going to be quiet, but this atmosphere will have its charm. Try to have dinner at the many restaurants around here. In particular, during hunting season, you can try delicious deer meat, Remember, we're an Italian-speaking region of Switzerland. Great dishes and desserts. Mm. Remember, in my videos, the best always comes at last. If you want to try something very adventurous, then you would have to hike or drive up to the church of San Romerio. The way is really narrow and certainly only for good drivers. Although the road seems very difficult, you will be rewarded with a prison village and a brilliant vista over the valley. So, Johannes and I, we just arrived up here. Ooh. <laughs> this drive was uh, quite thrilling and yeah, thanks to Johannes who took over in the second half. <laughs> we made it up here. It was fun, but thrilling at the same time, especially when there were other cars coming to cross. It only takes a 10 minutes hike to reach the church and the village. We've almost reached the Chiesa di San Romerio. It was a very short hike, but quite enjoyable. Oh, it was easy. Yeah. And yeah, it's really beautiful up here. It's very serene. And all the sounds of nature, the birds, the smells. Beautiful ensemble. Johannes and I, we just arrived here at the Chiesa di San Romerio, a really beautiful church at a very unique location. Wow, really breathtaking. 
Now the locals, they say about this church, if you have toothache, then you just hike around. This is definitely going to solve your problem because once you want to get around the church on this side, there's a steep drop and this is definitely going to put an end to all your aches. So we are now entering the church and good news, we just got a permission to ring the bell. It's going to be my first time to ring the church bell and I think this is something very special to try out. This here is the church of San Romerio. The interior is very simple. You can see some of the colors are already bleached out. It's a very old church. But then what's also very interesting because of the very unique location of this church, you can especially see that when you go down here to the crypt. There you can see there are some instruments. They are basically observing whether the church is moving because there is actually a risk that one day the church may fall downhill. However, it's really safe, so don't worry. With these instruments you can recognize anything before there would be any failure. The Valposkiavo is the beautiful hideout of Switzerland. Actually, one of the most beautiful valleys, full of great surprises, and up to this day, perfect for budget travelers that love the Swiss Alps, beautiful villages, breathtaking views and train tracks. Thus, escape the rat race and rather explore this hidden gem, the Val Buschiavo. It's really nice up here, although the way is not the most convenient. What do you think? Yeah, it was really nice here. So if you want to see more videos about the valleys like this, then I highly recommend to watch this episode or the one in this video here. So, I'm going to see you over there.